Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4, Common Sense Austrian Diplomacy. Let's hop back into it, shall we? In the last episode, we declared war, and declared war on Milan, and in this episode, we're going to peace out their ally here, Naples, with this peace treaty, which I think is a very good peace treaty. Make him stop, give up his claims, get money, pretty nice, pretty good. Hopefully you didn't want anything from that. Pretty sure you didn't. Okay, good. And Luca? Pretty sure you do not want to be in this war. Any oh you do. Okay, interesting. Just wait for Hungary to siege your stuff down. And that should be a Verenas. Verenas. Okay. Okay, Hungary, you're gonna have to siege this stuff down a bit quicker, so I'm gonna send my cannons to help you out. Send the cannons. Uh, a plague. We will pay the ducats. Recall that guy from Nassau. Improve relations with Hungary. Not Hungary. Bavaria, sorry. Bavaria. Can we pass this reform? Nope. Why does no one want that reform? It's a very nice reform. Okay, these cannons. Oh, of course they were helping. Send you there. Send you there. Let me see the peace treaty I'm about to get. Get that money. And break your alliance to Florence. And war reparations. Always nice. Very nice. Okay, now we could peace out Milan last. Because Milan's effectively at 99 or 100% war score. Okay. Those two provinces, we will take this aggressive expansion on. Pretty sure I could, could take it, hopefully. It's big, hopefully. Oh, give up your claims on me. Nice. Let's do that. Okay. And it changed this province to. I can't pronounce that. That's Brescia, as far as I know. And that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Let me reduce war exhaustion so I can core these for cheaper. Uh, this is 200. Holy fucking crap, 261? No wonder people got some aggressive expansion. Negative 40, negative 37, negative 32. We got, we got some high numbers. But of course, we're going to just let it tick down, of course. And uh, in this time of peace, we can... Uh, arrival of arrival. Uh, improve relations with some people. And uh, get some tech or something. I don't know. Uh, no, sorry, Milan. Let's improve relations with Muscovy, shall we? We shall. Yeah, we're just gonna sit at peace for a while. Because I'm not gonna go to war with the amount of aggressive expansion I have. Oh, wow. People are leaving his coalition. Congrats. Congratulations. You know what's happening? No one wants to fire the coalition because he's allied with Austria and Castile, who would, would defend him. And it's not like there's strong nations in the coalition against him. That's probably why the coalition hasn't fired. Okay, let's move you over there. And, oh, we need our royal marriage back with you. Hopefully you send it. Hopefully. In the meantime, I'm going to mothball some of these forts because... They don't need to be active and wasting money, right? I do not think so. Making nine ducats because they're mothballed. Very nice. Anyway, the Platinate. Want to send that Royal Marriage through? This is disappointing. Oh, there it is. It took them time. It took them about... It's about time, I should say. Anyway, going to be at peace. So we gotta, for one, core this province, and then go for administrative tech and catch up. So, yep, that's about it. And Hungary, we are definitely gonna integrate you as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as possible. What is your total development, I wonder? Oh, we need to hire a guy. Let's see. 
Lamin is cheaper, I guess. And I also have money to build buildings, so do I wanna build this? Well, I should probably build the rest, not the rest of these, but build these because I built all of my temples, or most of, most of the temples and most of my provinces, so yeah. Let me do the ones that are gonna give me the most manpower and do this okay good very good that should boost our, manpower, our manpower somewhat which would be very 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 nice must give you declared where I'm Kazan again uh, yep subjugate Kazan not surprising it too ill at all at all at all Milan's at war of Switzerland, Memen, and Genoa. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. So, this aggressive expansion is taken down, right? Yeah, negative 28, negative 28, negative 36. Okay, people are people starting to cool down. They're like, ah, let's chill. Okay, why do you need access? Nope. Oh, that's Serbia, actually. Nope. You would have thought. Just support my ruler on his throne. I wonder if my my uh, if my guy would ever be elected though. Would be an interesting thing to see. We'll test it out after we're done improving relations with Bavaria. Bavaria. Uh, she's not gonna build any buildings just yet. So finish improving relations with Bavaria and then and support his heir or support an heir. Just say recall support ear. If this ear becomes okay each month, the diplomat will improve the standing of our candidate depending heavily on our diplomatic reputation. If this ear becomes the ruler, we will get two years of power from that ruler as well as prestige. So let me see. Austria, we have a 1% chance. Uh. Our candidate has 1.3% chance to gain one support each month. I assume if I actually had good reputation, it would be much better. This reputation modifier goes away in two years, so we will see in two years. Also, it's time that I core this. And now I can be going for the tech, which I can get in 1502. Okay. Naples, peace out with Savoie. Looks like these guys are having rebels, but they should be able to handle it without my help. Very good vassal. Wassel. Wow. Straight up took one province. Like, straight up, like, that's where I was supposed to expand, you dick. You dick. But it's fine. I can just declare war on you. I have no problem with that, even though you're in the HRE. By the way, can I pass this? Nope. 38 against it and 1 for it. Is someone in the HRE at war? Yep. Wait. Yes, yep. Because I'm not getting the plus... I think it's plus 0.1 that I will get for if the HRE is at peace. But of course, we're not at peace. Why are these people so against it? Before it, like, please. <sighs> Whatever. That is fine. Ooh. Dude. You can't. You cannot be doing this. I will definitely demand imperial authority. Not demand imperial authority. Demand unlawful territory. You can't be taking land like that. That's, like, rude. Uh, 10 prestige. These events are firing immediately. Gain a spy master. Let me improve my chances in the papacy. Okay, Siena peaced out with Naples. We'll be forced to get 10% of their income. We'll pay, not Naples, Siena peaced out. Yeah, with Naples, with Naples. And pay 117 ducats. Okay. That probably sucks for you. Sounds like a personal problem, though. Seems like, or it is, it is a personal problem, actually. But, oh well. Can we core these already? Like, seriously? Oh my gosh. What does my autonomy look like? 
yeah, it's not good in these provinces, but it's ticking down. So I should see the fruits of my war very soon, which would be very nice. Very nice. Okay. You, dude, I gotta demand this unlawful territory. This is very rude to be taking land like that. Very, very rude. I'm gonna wait for Muscovy to be... To get the... I'm gonna wait until I can get my, uh... This mission done. Okay, you, declare one bar, who's in the Empire. Why am I not being called in? Pretty sure I should get a call to arms. So you against bar and bar against should get a call to arms. Unless I only get a call for arms after I get this one. Maybe it's a, a reform that I must pass, so I get a call to arms. It's weird. Like he's in the Empire, so I should get a call to arms. Okay. Did we fulfill the mission? Nope. Are we at max relations? Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to send a gif. Send a freaking gif. We could just get a royal marriage. Ugh, I'm gonna send them all this money just to fulfill a mission. Money into diplo points. Still good. Still good. Uh, none of those missions look good to me, so I'm not gonna do any of them. Can we please pass this reform? It's like an awesome freaking reform. By the way, what is our chances for our era? Zero. Awesome. <laughs> We're at zero. Hey, we gained a core on our province that we took. Very nice. Very nice. Milan. You got wrecked. You got annihilated, basically. An annihilated apparently is a word. Annihilated, sorry. Can I get another idea? We're ahead of tech. So I'll get it. Time to fabricate is must much less for maintenance costs less, so I guess that's the thing. A national garrison growth plus fifteen percent. If you say so, okay. For estimates I can increase by four, so I need Actually, I need uh, two infantry, two cavalry, and then the rest is going to be cannons, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm going to just wait in the screen until I get the money to build this next horse. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, t -t -t meet up in Wien. Wien. Get the next one, move you there. This one is going to finish in 1499, the 1st of November. Good. Imperial Liberation of uh, Munster. No, I... What? No, I prove of that? No, he just took back land that was previously owned by someone that wasn't in the Empire. Go ahead, bruh. Fine with that. Okay, by the way, anybody wants to vote this now? Nope. Five princes are for it. That's pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm going to improve relations with countries. Oh, yeah, you rivaled me. Like a fucking piece of shit. Why did you rival me? You're going to improve relations with Hungary then. Not Hungary. Um, Portugal. Sorry. Combine that up. What are my chances of increasing my chances? 5% is pretty good. There's people here with 13 and 16%, so uh, I'm not doing the best I can be doing. Could be doing much better. France asks you to help them in the conquest of Nice against Savoie. This war was started. They started this war. Uh, Savoie is allied to Wurttemberg, Castile, and Siena. Castile, you are not Castile, France. You are Bay, but you lost your alliance with Castile, so yeah. So that is Siena. I need access from at least from 
reference. And I could definitely get that access. Just gotta wait for the diplomat to come back, of course. Come on, ask for access. Thank you. Okay. Uh, France, do you need help there? I can't get over there. I need access to uh, Switzerland, too. Okay. Move you there. Okay. Let me see. Anybody want to pass this? Still 33 princes against it. Awesome. Oh, wow. I'm not going to be able to get there in time. Damn. But I am definitely going to attack it while it's weak. Of course. Yeah. Nice. Let's move you there. Uh, pause. You can... Really don't want to gain that autonomy. I won't gain the autonomy. And I guess I lose some inflation. Which is nice. Okay. Are you at War of Castile? Yes, you are. And Aragon. So you're at war with all of that. God damn it. The numbers are in our favor. To be fair. So that's very nice. It's very nice. Should probably be committing my entire army though. Hey, we broke the walls. Nice. Them three cannons though. Not three cannons. That three plus modifier for the cannons. It's awesome. Uh, Dipper points. Uh, to improve relation. Hmm. Improve relations with Bohemia. Oh, we became, became paper controller. Improve relations with Bohemia. Or they must accept overlordship. Hmm. Sorry. I am sorry. But as soon as my guess of expansion takes down to like zero. I'm going to declare that war you are allied with me. And I'm going to improve relations with you so that you don't see it coming. So hopefully that should be nice. We need our royal marriage back, sorry. Sorry. Nice. Kikes still has 30,000 troops on that border, but that should be fine. Yeah, I definitely want this PU over Bohemia. Definitely. Of course. So what is the Cassis Belli that I got? Restoration of Union until 1525. So we have 25 years to enforce this on Bohemia. Hmm. We should be able to do it. And you have rivaled... No, you don't have Poland as a rival anymore, really. Poland doesn't have you rival. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, what's your relation with him, though? Plus 54, plus 72, so you guys would ally each other. That sucks. Oh, well, I guess. Hmm. Just gonna wait for this aggressive expansion to take down, and I'm gonna declare that war probably immediately. Break the alliance. Hopefully, he doesn't have time to ally Poland. And then I will uh, declare the war. He's improving relations with Poland, though. He's really hardcore improving relations with Poland. We got our uh, Vod. I guess I should go help him attack the army. Uh, we still had attack. Oh, let's let's start saving up for this tech. Could be useful against Bohemia and maybe Poland. And maybe Poland. Siena, Siena peace out. Armies retreat. You, I don't need your access anymore. I don't think so, at least. Let's bring the army back. Let's start to put it on the Bohemian border. Hmm. Okay, France, can you put your army in a position so that we can attack Castile? Okay, good. Nice. Very nice. Look at my... I was about to say cannons in the back row. This fucking... Oh, this four out of a six, which is nice. 
It's pretty nice. Let me start to siege your shit down. Oh my god, look at my fucking morale. Got you down cord. Take this one now. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Bohemia. Don't ally uh, Poland. I can't declare a war on you. But don't ally Poland. Please. I beg of you. Actually, you know how I can uh, fuck Poland up? Oop, cannot demand on lawful territory. God damn it, he courted already, didn't he? That would have pissed. Uh, that would have pissed Bohemia off, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta get Bohemia as a vassal. Or, yeah, as a PU under me, I should say. You're going to attack. You got 19,000. That's about to reinforce. I'm just going to continue the siege so that this war goes a bit quicker. I'm not in a hurry or anything, but got to go quicker so that I can... I mean, like, I'm not in a rush because I have to wait for this aggressor expansion to tick down because I imagine if I declare a war to make Bohemia my vassal, a lot of people in the HRE is going to be mad. But anyway, with that, that's going to be the end of this episode of Europa Universalis 4. Common sense, Austrian diplomacy. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.